take against straggler tree we also got to keep track too if there's any upsets straggler tree did uh donate an extra ten dollars to um to the player who who does an upset of the biggest elo gap so if anybody wins with a lower um elo we have to start measuring all right, so game one for the Jake and Straggler Tree. Uh, again, it's going to be Arabia like everybody's game ones. This time we got Berbers from the Jake. We did see him play Aztecs as that kind of like uh, pre pre game warm up show match with Yeti. This time I'm going to go into Berbers. I love the uh, the early boar from Berbers here. Uh, Berbers are super nice to, to hunt with because their villagers are actually faster than the, the boars. So it's super easy to hunt early. Uh, no issues with loom. Uh, you don't ever need loom. Um, but getting in that fast, this means that the Jake is minimizing the time that uh, from sheep to um, a faster food income, right? I know I keep talking about it, but it's, it's a very important thing to be getting on your boars and your deers quickly sheep should be saved for later generally so th i'm loving that let's see what uh, straggler tree is doing straggler tree is going to stay on the sheep and he's going to go to wood now let's see what his balance is seven and one and he is playing vietnamese so a straggler can be going for a lame if he wants to he does see where did jake's um tc is on the mini map the jake oh my god the jake loves the food Ideally, we don't have less than six villagers on any any hunt other than, uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes! Yes to Jake. Oh, so supple, so nice. Oh, the warm, fluffy feelings in my stomach. And the lame? The Jake's a fucking madman! He's a madman! <laughs> I, I, I. No carnitas for you, motherfucker. Heck, yeah, this driver's like, is this really happening? What is happening, you guys? The Jake's just is like, he just wants to kill all the elephants, dude. Oh man, the Jake would be a really good, uh, a really good poacher. I think. Do not let the Jake go to any African country where there is any sorts of like. <gasps> oh! <laughs> I can't even. Oh my god, my brain! I can't. I want to see the Jake is a monster, dude. He's gonna wall the bears in. Uh... Don't lose to a heel. Did all of this? Oh my god, dude. The Jake is the friend that slaps the pizza out of your hand when you're eating too much, and he's just like, just don't. No food. You are now on a hunger strike. Wow. Now. Oh my god, my like it's actually there's so much blood pumping to my brain right now that I can't de that I can't think. It's like reverse. Is he, please tell me he finds these. Now I just want the Jake to kill everything. Yes! He's found something to attack. I usually do not see Berber rushes like this. Um, usually we see them like one or two villas will go forward in Dark Age, and then they'll go up to the next age, and then get the movement speed from the, the wheelbarrow. <laughs> I've never seen it work this well. <laughs> this is insanity, dude. He's killed his lumber camp? Dude, I know who's getting my fan favorite vote. I don't. I don't care about any other games this tournament. This is my fan favorite vote for my favorite game. I hope that you guys are voting with me here. What are we seeing? This is chaos, dude. He's taking the houses down. Oh my god, these villagers are going to be so strong. Can he keep up fill production, though? That's really the main thing. 
I think that he should have sent less bills initially, but I love the damage he's got out of it. He's killed one elephant. He's killed three sheep. He's walled in the berries, so that's just crazy. I don't know what the math is on that, but that's, that's some serious damage. If he finds those, he could even mine some of that out. He did go to wood, so these aren't, these aren't uh, necessarily idle, right? They are still only about three are fighting now. So I, I do like that he made some sort of mining camp close. Could have even been a mill, right? He could be taking the berries right now. He's got to keep his vill count up. So Straggler Tree is remaining calm under significant pressure here. This is not normal. Like at any ELO, you don't have to face as much pressure in Dark Age very often. Um, so wow. So Straggler actually ran all the way over here. Once we get up to the next age and uh, De Jake gets wheelbarrow, he'll actually be able to chase the other uh, Vils down and fight them very well. Even now, he will have a movement speed bonus, so easier to surround and easier to run away. Uh, but that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to win the, the Vil fights unless you have uh, you know a superior force. Um, Straggler Tree does have more villagers. <laughs> yuck, 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 yuck. Uh... The Jake's in chat. Yo, I'm loving this game, the Jake. I cannot believe what you got inside of you. You got some kind of extra mojo inside of you. TC comes down. Okay. Now, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong in chat, but I believe that 10 villagers in your TC is maximum arrow capacity and the other five that can fit you want to have them go to work we'll see how the jake plays it yet he's saying he's got some epic games too sweet okay we'll probably hit your um your game next then so we're, we've been watching one game from like all the all the first set of games we haven't actually seen a full set yet so i'll i'll fix the bracket um once we once we watch a few I do want to make sure we keep up on the bracket, though, so players can play ahead of us. <coughs> we can always watch the Rex and, and just – we can watch every single game in the tournament or we can just bounce around while we've got some some of these lower players in here that we want to catch, like, some games from. Um, or if it's a, just a crazy good set, you know, we can stay with the set all three games. Uh, I'm easy. This is fantastic, though. Don't spoil it. Don't spoil it, Adam. No spoilers. Oh, my ten. Oh, the Jake is so smart. This is almost unfair. Is... Uh, uh, he's out of wood, dude. He's out of wood, dude. Go eat wood, man. Become a beaver. Oh, this beaver. The Jake knows how to deal with beavers. It's happening. Straggler's going for it. It's happening. Oh my god, it's the apocalypse, dude. Holy shit. I hope if the zombie apocalypse ever happens, I start right next to the Jake, the Jake and we're like on the same team. I want to be the same color, okay? What? What? <laughs> okay, Straggler's running over, trying to make a lumber camp now. The Jake is just chasing after him, mouth drooling, biting every little... You know what they're biting. Nom, 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 nom. He needs to do some blocking. So the Berber really should be doing blocking right now. The Jake's like, ah, we'll let him run. We like to chase. Oh. All right, the Ville Micro coming in now. So... The good thing for Straggler Tree is he does have seven more villagers than DeJake. So DeJake is going to have to make a lot more. He's going to have to leave five to six on food. Really good. He actually did. Um, so he'll have to keep making. So if DeJake can keep Straggler Tree from making a TC, 
for the next like three minutes. He'll catch up in Vils, and then he'll have a pretty good lead. So he needs to like harass for the next two or three minutes here. Straggler Tree can make one now, though, and he's going to run down. He's going to fight a bunch of hills, though. That's not going to work. He's going to have to keep running. He does find some, some good food, though. This isn't necessarily bad, but he can't make the TC yet, unfortunately, for him. This, I would be, like, furious. I'd be like, how, when I need to drop a TC, all I find is hills. What is going on? But he does know where the deer are now. The Jake taking down some good fights here. 16 to 20 now. So did Jake actually co closing the gap without... Uh, um, well, he is making TC. He is making... Oh, it goes this way. Okay, so the TC went to the north. Straggler tree... I think best case scenario is he picks up these deer, makes a mill here, and then kills the deer before going back to the wood line. We'll see what he decides to do. He does have enough to make that mill. Great choice here, Straggler Tree. Still thinking, making good decisions under this much pressure. Did Jake though? We're missing a big fight somewhere. Did Jake got some more vills off Straggler? 18 to 18. Where's the fight? Where is the fight? I don't know. We missed something. The Jake killed another um, four vills for only two losses there. At somewhere on the map, but I, there's just vills everywhere. <coughs> First time in the game so far that Jake has been up in vill counts, 19 to 18. And now it's going to be down to the food. This was a, a big saving grace for Straggler Tree here, getting that food. That's a lot of extra villagers he can make. Um, Barry is close there for De Jake, so he's going to be able to keep producing as well. Boar doesn't have too much food left on it. De Jake does know where his own berries are, though, so he can send some vills back there and keep utilizing that. I, I love to see him grabbing both of those uh, food incomes. They're going to make some farms as well i think that the jake may actually have the better streamline like rebuild here um straggler is up though 22 villagers against 18 oh no way no way straggler isn't even going to make it feudal units he's going to go fc could go fc into a castle drop could i mean he does have stone gold and wood here right so he can oversaturate on the gold, buy his way up, and then oversaturate the stone and drop a castle, go into Ratten Archers. But this food boost is gone now. He's buying wood. I don't know about that. I think he should just go back and use that. Oh, I thought, I don't know. Feels like he could have walked there. He's going to go a different route, though, so he's going to get onto some wood, start making farms um, in the south location, and then in the far east, he's just going to be taking all that gold, wood, and stone. Okay, 26 vills now for Jake, 21 for Straggler Tree. Uh, three of those vills will be the uptime, so um, Jake will drop three vills down as he goes up to the next stage. He's getting close to that point where he can. He's got some food in the bank, too. I think if he idled for one villager, he could go up. Big Goody, you, you've just missed one of the best games we've watched. I really hope everybody votes this, this, um, this game for the fan favorite. Um, we watched a first nine villager Berber Vil Rush that killed three sheep and a boar walled in the berries, followed followed it up with the douche, killed the TC as it was trying to go feudal, and now it's just been chaos and chasing vills around. Um, villager count, pretty close to where we need to be here for both players. Farm count for DeJake is pretty nice. Nine farms against six, seven, eight, nine. Wow. Really evening back up. So strategically, though, Straggler Tree, I like the decision here. He's going to be able to FC and abuse the market here, drop a castle. So he's got a clear route that he wants to go. And to Jake, we're not really sure. Is he going to go um, archer units when he gets up? Is he going to go FC into camels and knights? Will he try to drop a castle himself and go to uh, camel archers? We just don't know. Um, to Jake has two bases. And we don't know what he's going to do. <laughs> Straggler has no bases, but we know he's on a mission. He's doing something.
What's a mouse puddle? Is it a puddle of mice? Or is it like something yellow and I don't want to... Is it like, don't have a mouse... Don't eat the mouse puddle in the snow? Were they? Nice. Yeti was saying they were good games, so I think we're going to try and catch that set next. Guys, what do you think about this? Should we should we only watch the one to Jake Straggler Tree game, or should we watch their full set? Like, this is so dang good. We Since we can have the, the players play ahead of us, and we can just cast their Rex, we don't actually have to, like, stop watching. We can watch every single one of the games if if we want to. You want this to be bold hamster, but but mouse puddles won the vote. Yeah, I like bold hamster better. Good balance here. The Jake's also up. <clears throat> so upgrades are giving us some insight to what's going to happen next. If you didn't see the stable, right? So we've got some armor coming in for knights or camels. Bloodline's coming in now. Pretty good balance here. We'll need more farms out from Jake. He's got some on food over here, though. So the baseline is five to six on food per building, right? So this is going to take, each knight is going to take six farmers. The TC is going to take five farmers. So we're trying to get to 11 on food. We've got 11 farms now and five extra. So even a double stable or um, make another TC, something like that. So I'm, I'm liking where DeJake's eco is at. Straggler Tree, though, has three more villagers, and he's up a little bit later, but not too much. He's lining this up pretty well. He's got eight on stone, so he's going to be able to drop a castle right away once he gets up. And, uh, you know, the corner he picked is actually pretty strong for him. There's two mines very close, so if he, say, castles here, he'll have stone and gold. Really, he could just imp from that. He, he almost doesn't even need to take control of anything else. The Jake's going to be looking to get some mobile units on the field and a uh, nice ride away. Some mobile units on the field and um, trying to find out where Straggler Tree ran to and where we can do some damage. Straggler opted for a few scouts while upping. Probably was hoping that Jake would be a little bit later. Um, so he wants to go get some raiding in. He's got some good upgrades. Uh, going knights, though, I I'm surprised that he actually went both routes because the knight route against Berbers, you would think, would would fail but he also has the the castle ready so I, maybe he's, it's more of a bluff right it is only one stable so he's not like committed fully can get some light damage decent upgrades for straggler tree here if he utilizes some of the hill here he's going to kill a lot of units uh, I don't know if the Jake realizes how many upgrades these scouts are on. Going to lose three villagers here, even while using all of them. Scout's going to die as well. Or knight's going to die as well. We've got another knight down here for straggler. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Love it. Oh. Oh, guys. Did you see where that could have gone? Oh, my God. He's going to go back. Oh, straggler, do it. If Straggler put it here, he could have gotten away with it, I believe. He's got enough knights here harassing the back of the Jake's base that he kind of has to keep his knights back there. Straggler Tree going to go for the safer uh, castle, though. He did get harassed a little bit by a knight, so thought maybe it could be a throw to put the castle there. I think, you know, it always kind of is. Like, is it a throw or did you just win the game, right? Did you throw the ball to yourself or to your opponent? But this would be the safe route. This is the better route for him, I think. He's got more villagers. There's no reason for him to throw the ball to anybody else. Second TC now coming out for the Jake. Maybe he can catch up in the villager count. <clears throat> Yeti, which game was the, the best game in your guys' set? Not sure. They're all good?
Mike had a good one with Ray as well. Heck yeah. I'm glad uh, I'm glad these games are good, right? Some of these I know some of these um the lower ELO players were a little bit discouraged um having to play some of these higher level guys at the start, but like this is how you get good, this is how you get your reps in. This is what this kind of tournament's supposed to be for. So I'm glad that some of the some of these players that were on the fence stepped up, they played some games and we're getting to see some cool stuff. I know the viewers uh, appreciate them uh, them trying for sure. This game is within 10 points. Look at this. Yeah, Greg. So I'm going to try and do it every Sunday and keep up on it the best I can as long as we still have – I'm going to sponsor a couple weekends and then hopefully, you know – We'll have people sp keep sponsoring them as well. Um, but I'll, I'll try and get it going. I definitely will. The USA Cup's going to end this weekend, so tomorrow. Um, tomorrow is the, the finals and semifinals for USA Cup, so that'll be done, and then we'll be looking for something else that I'd like to get on a very consistent schedule of casting on Sundays and that being just the thing I do for Sunday. So um, I know we started this on Saturday, and it doesn't really line up, but that's because USA Cup had one more week. The best part for me is you never know who's going to show up, right? Like who's just randomly going to be there that Sunday? Maybe we're going to have super high crazy level 2K5 guys or are we going to have like 1500 level tournament or are we going to have 19 2K? Never really know. We got a good batch this time. A, f a few players in each ELO set. Both players trying to reboom here. Jake is still maintaining a, a Tinville deficit, but um, after this TC went up, it's been just about the same uh, growth rate here from both players. So Jake's going to clean up some spearmen. Very nice. Oh, if, man, if he could have got that back to heal. Oh, he even has a monastery. He was thinking the right the right route. Rat and archers have plus two now. Straggler tree is actually doing a really good job of, of um, coming back into this game. Uh, I thought that Jake just had this cleared up, but Straggler tree, like like I was talking about, like he had a mission, right? He he knew he wanted to go FC, drop a castle. The night raid he did actually was was extremely impactful setting the Jake behind for the first time so um, this was actually this stable is kind of the star of the of the strategy so far but uh, I love that the castle went down to keep our boom safe over here for straggler more on stone as well so we're gonna see a forward castle attempt here um, for straggler somewhere in the center of the Jake's base somewhere 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 uh, every Sunday I mean, if we have lots of people sponsoring matches, then, you know, I can grow it. But I, I'm i in to sponsor a couple weekends on a Sunday, and I'm hoping that other people will, will uh, want to do more. So we'll, we'll see how popular it gets. For me, I, I'm in – I can <clears> – <throat> I can uh, commit to every Sunday. That's what I can commit to. DJ, this game is insane. Third TC now going down for DJ, trying to reboom back in. And you know what? Straggler does have nine villagers over here. Yeah, he just panicked and was like, oh, shit, 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 shit. How do we get those bills back over to the right for him? Like, that that's a liability here. And the Jake just scouted it, too. So if the Jake is able to kill this, uh, that little farming land, not only will it be nine villagers dead, but that's half of uh, Straggler Tree's food income as well. So that's pretty big. Usually you don't lose your food income. Usually it's like you lose a lumber line or something, and then you just have to remake a lumber. This is nine vills plus whatever the nerd math is on... You know, 60 times 9. I refuse to do it. I won't do it. But it is a thing. You can figure out exactly how much wood he'll lose. Nobody better do it. We don't do math here. School board is saying, I think we should have a 1200 through 1600 level tournament 
on like the first Sunday or Saturday, then have a higher ELO one two weeks later. That could be. I mean, if if we have enough interest, we could do that where we cap some of them so that we make sure that some will be like a lower ELO event. Look at this sneaky dude. Oh my god. How many rings of power are in here? These sneaky little hobbits. Is he going? <laughs> what are we even seeing? Troy wants a rating cap? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, today it was hard to get 16 players, you know? Well, if, if we are getting to where it's like we can fill 32 players or more, um, then I'm down to rating cap or do some other stuff. But we kind of just have to base it on how many people are signing up. Once we get a schedule going and people are used to it, though, I think that we'll have a lot more options. Um, and I'm, I'm totally open to something like that. Or even running, too. Like, I don't mind running, too, at the same night. We could have a gold and a silver league and just do, like, 70% of the money goes to Gold League, 30% goes to Silver League, and then, you know, have them both run at the same time. We can jump back and forth between the two tournaments. A lot of ways we could do it. Sampleton says, if you do it consistently with a prize pool, this could become very big, to be honest. I think it could. The, the problem... It really is probably the prize pool and then me just being dedicated on the schedule. I need to make sure that I'm starting at the same exact time every Sunday. USA Cup was really good practice for that. I know the last couple of weeks have been off because uh, we did move. We just moved to a new house. Um, but like we're getting set up here. Things are starting to go. Um, so I think that my end won't be too much of a problem. I'm down to, to sponsor the first couple. So you know, uh, if we get more people to, you know, that are generous like, you know, Sableton, School Board, Yeti, these other guys, uh, Straggler Tree that have been sponsoring some cash into the event, then, you know, we can just we'll let it ride. We'll see what we can do. A lot of nights. So did Jake lost the TC, but he was able to get a castle up to stop the progression, and he has a good amount of nights. He could do some damage here. Um, I'd like to see him get over here somehow. He saw these vills come out. If 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 the Jake ran here to the south and then up at the gold, I think he could clear everything here with this amount of knights. He's got two relics as well. He still has his own base too, right? Like Straggler Tree is, he's on a clock. He's only got a corner. So yeah, he could get to Imp, but there's not infinite amounts of resources. Straggler Tree has to progress through um, the Jake to get some of these extra gold mines and stone mines. And the Jake is now going over here, but that's really, you know, the time has passed on that one. A 67 villagers to 78 now. TC, one, two, three TCs up. Against two, I'm I'm almost thinking Straggler's gonna be able to get to Imp and Treb down this castle, and then he won't be able to be stopped. Two castles, Treb's coming. He's got just barely enough. He could make like three or four Trebs. Maybe that's all the gold, but he'll find some more. He's got some more up there to the north. I'd like to see the Jake doing a little bit better job of controlling the gold mines at this point. There's nothing over here. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> He's already left though, did you? Vill counts are very even. Military is a little bit behind for De Jake. The problem for De Jake is going to be the treb timing. The treb timing is gonna hit De Jake like a ton of bricks, man. He's got knights. He could clear He could definitely clear this. That would just be the best, easiest trade for him. Um, if he fights this army, this army can run into the castles, trade very well. Um, still might be able to beat it in the open fields. 
<laughs> yeah, you really showed that move. But. Many jokes from the proxy's table, so I have to make sure the chip is dandy like him. <laughs> yeah. Did you see he ran away? He had all the vills here. He ran down here and then ran them all the way in a line to the right, destroyed this, and then ran through. Ten vills got away. When you sent your knight there the first time, too, it was so unfortunate. This game would have been, I think the Jake would have been slightly ahead right now, actually, if he noticed. Didn't see him run. Yeah, dude. When you brought your knight down, your knight was here, your first one was attacking, and he was running down here. He was about this close. You were here, and he was here. And then he ran all the way down here, and then up. And then he's been eating this gold ever since. That was probably a, that was a pretty big moment, honestly, because the Jake is doing a good job, right? Like, if if Straggler Tree is down ten vills, the Jake's actually ahead. Oh, don't fight this way. Although the Trebs are out, this kind of actually is the moment he has to deal with it now. He's getting a good trade here. Straggler is actually running away with a lot of his units. Oh, that's that's probably best case scenario, actually. And they come back out as he leaves. Wow, very... The Jake only lost, I think, three knights for that. That was super duper needed. Bill count is about even. Now, the Jake is upping. He needs to get uh, a repair on that castle, or he needs to be thinking of a different route to clear castles out or to boom behind. Oh no, they were on no attack. Oh, blasphemy. Plus three now. I don't know who this score has been talking to, but this score is a liar. Straggler Tree is, is definitely in the lead now cavalier with the armor i guess could switch it if the jake's able to kill this full army for free and then maybe straggler tree runs out of mines right if the jake gets cavalier kills this army and then finds these vills the jake can win if straggler tree is able to drop another castle here defend the three castles with halbs and really um uh, be careful about losing any gold units. I think he's got this game locked up, even though the Jake does have two main bases. Straggler Tree's got those all these extra mining camps. Just like very fortunately, we're on this side over here for him. The Jake. One thing I would say for the Jake is he he shouldn't have camped here so much with his army. He should have been having a couple like have a knight over here, have a knight over here, have a knight over here. A little bit more vision, knowing the opponent's going to be uh, moving out especially if the Jake already owns both main bases, right? He knows Straggler Tree has to be looking around for those extra mines. He's got to be out on the map with the bills. Um, that would be the one probably biggest critique I could give on this one. Phil Count is still good. The Jake needs something to deal with Pike now. Cavalier's almost done. We're fighting right before it. No, we needed 30 more seconds and the castle was just going up. I think this was a little bit preemptive. This already went decent. Imagine if it was Cavalier upgrade. Look at this. No, oh, the Jake. The Jake. Ah! Andres, thank you, man. You <laughs> fight me to have weak knees. True, dude. True. I mean, if you carry around a big stick all day with a big metal thing and you've got armor all over you, just imagine it. Walking up and down these hills. Imagine how, like, in this game, this game is such a lie, right? These horses are dying to pikemen. In reality, these horses would have just ran circles around, created a bunch of dust, and the pikemen probably would have been so exhausted and breathing in dirt and mud from the horses that they would just die. They would just give up and die. 
This would never happen. This game, this game is even realistic. <laughs> uh, all right, I digress. Pushing forward still. So Straggler Tree is going for the kill. I think that here would have been safer, making sure his two mines are safe. Um, but he's going to go for the kill. Going to go for the forward castle here. Have a bit more um, damage and production of trebs closer to those Dejake castles. But Dejake has two castles. This is actually a point where maybe Dejake could start pushing the other direction. He does have the same amount of vills. Military count, though, is, is rough. He's going to need trebs to keep the position. And then how do we deal with Rattans and Halbs? The, the pairing of this unit is, is really hard to deal with because it's like a skirmisher archer with a halb. So um, it's going to do well against skirms. It's going to do really well against archers. Uh, it's going to do decent against uh, camel archers. So there's not that many options for Dejek, really. Probably going to have to stay on the horse tech, but he needs maybe, maybe cavalier... Hussar and Skirmisher, and the Skirms target firing the Halbs could be the route. Um, I think number one priority, though, is treading this castle out. Getting this gold back, keeping him away from these relics. 78 villagers against 81. Oh, Genitors? Genitors are bad against Halbs. Maybe, though. They'd be mobile. I don't know how they'll do against Rattans. In theory, they should do well, but Rattan Archers have crazy pierce. That could be it, though. Do they lose? If they lose, and it's certainly not worth. And and Skirm will do better against Halbs, right? Because the, the Genitars are going to get uh, chewed up by the Halbs. I think Skirm is the right answer. I think Skirm, Hussar, and then the gold goes to Trebs. Both at the same build count, dude. Oh, my God. The Jake is playing this pretty well too. Got right to Treb, stopped making gold units. He's conserving his gold now, using it on his siege. This is the way. I feel like every 10 seconds, w the other player starts coming back, and then it flips, and then it flips, and then it flips. <gasps> oh no. Straggler Tree has got all of the mines now. Oh no, the Jake is losing this one. He's found. Yes! Yes! Mmm, tasty. Oh, oh, okay, okay. This is what we've been calling for for the last 20 minutes, but if it starts now, keep this little rat in his hole. All of these archers wouldn't have been made, right, if the Jake was able to stop those gold miners from going all the way across the map. All this stuff wouldn't even have been here. Beast. Beast. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Abort mission. Well, that was good, but this is not so good. <laughs> A straggler tree only has 67 villagers left. <laughs> the Jag 69, 67, 66. What are we seeing? They're just beating each other to death. This is this is such an epic game. I need to get somebody GG who even won? Did Jake resign? I don't even know who won the game. The Jake resigns. This is absolutely so far, and I hope that this one wins. This is my vote for um for the the fan favorite. Yes, <laughs> this was so epic. The Jake um, ran across with the first nine villagers, killed three sheep from the enemy, killed his boar, walled his berries in. They fought. He douched Straggler Tree. Straggler Tree lost his cat, his TC right before he got feudal. Then he had to move. He split his economy into both sides, into both corners, the eastern corner and the southern corner. Somehow managed to keep them all alive. Got up before to Jake. He had a nice stone pile here. Dropped the castle off so he couldn't die. This was... Really, really good. Gearing for an FC, using the market, gearing for an FC, dropping the castle so he's not dead, and then playing out of it and macroing out of it. Um, so really, like Straggler Tree stayed calm 
and played well, right? Did Jake play it out of his mind just to even be able to do this? Um, definitely pulled him out, stuck him on the table. Wow. 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 I mean, I'm satisfied. Yeah, what do you guys think? Yeti and Troy, let me know which game. Which game I should cast? 